Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and we're here opening another box of Maximum Crisis. The previous one, uh, secrets weren't really to, uh, my preference or to my liking, but at least we got a little bit of the ultras towards the, uh, the true Draco deck that we, uh, that we needed. But at least we're getting secrets. At least we're not, uh, getting unfortunate out of, uh, out of some at least potential investment in the form of, uh, in the form of getting zero secrets in, like, these boxes. So, at least there is that, but so... We're going to be opening the second box of three that I have on hand. So let's just get straight into this so that we don't have to waste any time. Uh, hopefully the lighting is a bit better in this video as well because I changed some things around uh, as far as my uh, things go. Okay. Uh, Zodiac uh, Chaka... Chaka 9? Chaka Nine? <laughs> That's what they made like a? Okay. Um, fair. Okay. I can see that. Um... I can see that maybe. Uh, stupid names. I mean, we're we're about those. Uh, a Zephyrath. All right. I think it's hilarious that this is ultra and this is common. Uh, so we have uh, we have a common, a rare, two ultras, uh, and no, we have no super zodiac exceeds. <laughs> like that's that's that kind of like pleases me, and also agitates me. Was that a Digibug? Is that? I haven't seen these since Shiny Victories. Okay. I didn't know that Digibug support was something that was coming out in this set either. Like I said, I'm really out of the loop uh, as far as this, uh, as far as these things go. Um, Phantom Knight. Um, either I've just been looking over it, or I just haven't seen a, uh, a Scorpio. I've seen a ton of Darling Cobras, uh, Predaplant cards. I, I should probably preface, uh, but I have not seen one. Um, of the of the Scorpio variety, or I might have just been looking straight over them. Um, they might just have a different name that I'm not aware of. Um, but Darling Cobra is like the same, so uh, that's interesting. I don't even know what this card does. Zodiac Gathering. I just assume it sucks because nobody's talking about it. Uh, but Supreme Gates. So I pulled a I pulled a Zark in the previous in the previous box, and I've got like two or three of these uh, gate uh, gates uh, from the like two or three of each of them from the last box. Uh, so this definitely makes a play set of one of them. Um, so there's definitely that. It, this isn't what I'm looking for. It's a it's a level one. Hmm. I'm I I guess I'm just looking straight over the the Scorpio. Maybe it's an Ultra. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really just don't know. Um, okay, another Majesty Maiden. Good. We're getting more Draco shit. Uh, good. Good. Uh, Phantasm City. All right. <laughs> well then, uh, all this. Phantasm Spiral Dragon support is ridiculous to me. It's an entire archetype based around equipping, and uh, and we've had that many times in the past. Pendulum Mucho, this is the other low scale. Um, that is banished in your graveyard, add it to your extra face up. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, it's level one though. <laughs> Shit. Um, hmm. Odd. Alright. At least it's a low scale though. It's uh. It's a low scale that can be searched off of Duelist Alliance, I believe, because it's got Pendulum in its name. Um, so that seems pretty alright. Uh, but Kaiser Sea Snake. Ooh, Kaiser Sea Snake. Um, what a card. Wait, what? No, it's still the level 1 Predator Plant that I keep looking at. Yeah, I think Scorpio might just be a, an Ultra. Um, or, it's, or it's at least an Ultra, or it's definitely not a secret, because I know what the secrets are in this set. There's another Gate Zero, um, so there's Gate Infinity and Gate Zero, uh, and so I'm pretty sure I just got all of those for the for the Zark deck that I'm never going to play because uh, I have some dignity. And okay, Duelist Alliance, good. I can actually read this card. And figure out if Pendulum Mucho is. If there's a card in the Pendulum Zone, add one Pendulum Pendulum Monster or Pendulum Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. You can only have one Duelist Alliance per turn. So yeah. Pendulum Mucho can be added by this. This can also add Pendulum Call, which is cool, because Pendulum Call is now at 4. Neat. Um, so that's something we can work with in uh, some Therio, perhaps later. But that's one of the secrets out of this box, so at least it's not dumb dumbass Ultra Polymerization or a Zark. Um, now the question is, is, will we get a diagram or anything like that? Uh, because that's you know that's what we want. That's, that's, that's why we're here, boys. Uh, but that's half the box, so I'll just take all these out. Um, ugh. Take all those out, toss the box, and we'll just keep going from here. 
Uh, so at least the, at least we're getting secrets in boxes. Uh, so at least we're lucky in that regard. Ignis Heat, okay. Uh, not really what we're working for, but I mean it'll work. Uh, as long as I don't keep pulling more Majesty Banes and stuff, I'd li I really like some Dynamite Knuckles. Because uh, that's like the most important like starter tribute monster. It's definitely the best one because the traps are broken. Uh, Subterra Fiendus, again. Best card for shittiest deck. Subterrors. I hate that deck. I low-key love it though, just because it tries. But I think the people that are fanboying over the deck are just a tiny bit delusional. Another one of these shitty Towers cards. Ah. <laughs> ah, that's that's my entire response. Is ah. Um, all right, so let's see here. Another VFD. I've definitely got enough True Draco Apocalypses that I've seen going by. Um, Cause I got two out of the last box, so I knew I was gonna get as many as I needed. Uh, but those are commons, so I'm not really worried about that. Oh, here it is. It's a rare. Okay, I've been passing right over it. I think I might have gotten some out of the previous box, or even previously in this box, but I just haven't been looking at the rares, uh, because the rares are not really that important at this juncture in time. Uh, but yes, let's continue. Continue on. Bow Baboon, you make me sad every time, because we've had you for months, and use a super. Uh, <laughs> thank God Konami gave it to us early, or else Bow Baboon Metal would literally have not been a deck that we could have played, because... Uh, we would be dealing with this. Hey, um, actually, this is kind of all right as far as an ultra goes. It's definitely not what I prefer, but at the same time, it still it still gets us towards the goal. So we can work with that. What is this bird of divinity thing? This fairy ritual. What is that? Um, I am actually super curious. Uh, what are you? Are you something that's real? Uh, ritual summon it with Primal Cry, real monster in your hand, target face of monster field, that target's level comes to your level. So in the turn, once the turn of another monster is tributed from your hand or field, except your name should be target one monster you your out of your hand. Ah. Interesting. Well, alright then. Um. Okay. <laughs> Not necessarily what I was expecting out of the bay, but okay. It works. Um. I wonder if that, like, replaces. No, it doesn't really. I don't think it replaces Sephira in, like, the Herald deck. Um, but it's definitely searchable off of uh, Ritual Sanctuary, so there is that. Uh, but we're getting really close to the end of this box. Another Zafrath. So I think that's like a playset of those. I definitely got one in the last box, yeah. Uh, so there's that. Um, that definitely happened. Uh, but so let's see. This should be the box with the secret, or this should be the pack with the secret in it. Uh, Ghost Dash! Hell yeah! Alright, so that's a really fucking good secret. That's a really, really good secret rare to have pulled. Okay, so this box had good secret rares. It had Duelist Alliance and Ghost Dash. Now, Duelist Alliance is pretty cheap, but at least it's a card that like I forecast like seeing possibly go up by the time Nationals rolls around, uh, especially with the new Pendulum Edition support because it can search Pendulum Call. Um, and also, there's a lot of decks that I think I want to play this in uh, as far as that goes. Uh, but so, okay. So we've got one pack left, but this pack is basically irrelevant unless it's like a misprinted, like a mispackaged box and they give me another secret. Yeah, so there's another Fiendus. So I've got a play set of Fiendus for that deck that I'm probably never going to play because it's terrible. <laughs> so there is that. Uh, so, okay, this box was definitely a bit better than the previous one. Uh, we have a we have an Ash Blossom. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we got a Duelist Alliance, which is pretty all right. We got another Majesty Maiden. We got our uh, Zodiac Laika, uh, which is needed if I play any Zodiac deck in Pittsburgh. So, I mean, I, I guess that's covered. Um, and, yeah, okay, cool. Very cool. All right. Well, anyway, let me know what you guys think about these pulls from this box in the comments down below. There's at least one more opening coming uh, coming soon, because uh, I'm going to be opening one more box on this channel, and then I'm going to be giving away a box to my Patreon subscribers, or my Patreon uh, patrons, basically, for uh, their support throughout the month of April. So, there's that. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Again, let me know what your thoughts are on this box, on these pulls in the comments down below, also our nonsense. If you want to support the channel, definitely check out... The, uh, the link's in the description to my Facebook and my Patreon pages. If you want to support me directly, help me fulfill some things that I want to do for the channel in the future that are currently just pipe dreams, then definitely go check out the Patreon page. And if you want to get access to a monthly giveaway raffle at the end of each month, like the one that I'm about to give away a box of Maximum Crisis for, then definitely check that out as well. It's a great way to show your support. Helps me out a ton. 
and I you have my eternal gratitude essentially. But anyway, other than that, if you want to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel, then check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel. I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've dealt with thus far. So definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, again, let me know what your thoughts are on this box, on these pulls in the comments down below, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to be selling some of my excess stuff on eBay, so I might link my eBay store um, if you want to just buy them directly from me uh, in the comments down below as well. I uh, haven't decided on that yet. Uh, but uh, might do that. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but otherwise, take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video, and I'll see you with the next box.